Comment ça va? Je m'appelle Dimitar Berbatov. And that is the end of today's French lesson. This review is of a Volvo and a six axle ballast carrier, and it's in the colours of the French company SE Lavage. It is another WSI Models limited edition. It comes in the standard WSI Models box, and you know what? To get the model out, you have to open the box up. For the assembly, we need to join up the tractor and trailer, so repeat after me. Clunk, click, does the trick. And if you didn't say the words, please replay the video and try again. There's one other thing we can do on the model, and that's store the deck posts. And there's a holder at the front of the trailer for that. You just need to work out the best way to store them so they don't all fall out. This is a big Volvo FH16 8x4, even though on the box it's listed as an FH4. The chassis has the gearbox and exhaust highlighted, and there are different tyres used, front and rear. One difference to the real truck is that the light bar sits high, when it should be covering the black part below it. What's really nice about the truck is the Volvo grille at the front. It is etched and there are some really tiny details such as the Volvo badge. There's also a realistic number plate and the door mirrors are specially decorated. The high point of this Volvo is the lavage graphics on the cab and it's nice to see the big Leap hair mobile crane. Also complementing the model nicely are the smart wheels and the box between them. Behind the cab there's chrome work in terms of boxes and tanks and there are coiled lines and a textured surface. At the back there's more nice detailing including the big Volvo mud flap. The manufacturer of the trailer is not identified, but it looks like WSI's Goldhofer series. The axles are all modelled in metal, and the wheels are good looking and have nice tyres. There's some very nice detailing, such as what looks like a fire extinguisher box, and tiny graphics, and a white line. The chromed wheels have got nice hubs, and the deck has got replica timbers. The detailing at the back of the trailer is also very convincing. Let's start with the Volvo steering and it's linked, but the range of movement that's possible is very small, so there's no sharp turning for this Volvo. Driving it in a straight line is okay, it just skids a little. And if we set the steering we can see that we don't achieve too much, but as we always say, something is better than nothing. The highly decorated Volvo cab tilts nicely and there's a Volvo marked engine underneath. Just don't try fitting your head in that gap. The trailer axles are all nice and free rolling, and the link steering is particularly smooth and it's proportional with the rear axle turning more than the inner axles. Another nice piece of model engineering is that there's sprung suspension on each axle. The trailer does have landing legs which are used if the trailer is not fitted to a tractor, and these can be screwed up or down and the pistons have smooth faces. So right side up the suspension works well and the landing legs work well at the front too. And with the steering set, the trailer does follow a nice curve. One other nice piece of functionality is that the front two axles can be clipped up out of service when the trailer is unloaded, and that helps to save any wear on the tyres. The model engineering is good because when you move the trailer along, the front two axles are clipped up high enough such that they don't rotate. Let's move on and try some loads out on the trailer, and first we'll start with some heavy boom sections. With these on board and the steering set, we can see that the trailer steering performs well. And if we go in reverse, such is the skill employed, that we see the wheels straighten themselves out. Next we'll fix the deck posts onto the deck. There are lots of them and some of them can be slightly loose in their holes, so they may end up leaning over a little bit. But for display purposes you can normally straighten them out. In comes the giant hand crane and it's lifting in a heavy crawler crane track section. But the clue to a ballast trailer is in the name, and here we're loading it up with heavy counterweight pieces from a large crawler crane. <music> this 
This is a very nice ballast trailer from WSI models, but it's particularly interesting because of the high quality graphics on the large Volvo. This model would be a great pairing with a crane in the same company colour scheme, and there's enough functionality and options to give a variety of display poses. Overall it is très bien, which is very good. Yeah.